Okay, okay, let's start. Let me see who is connecting. Okay. I think students are going to join in a second. Oh, here they are, okay, so. Perfect, let's start this new day. Excellent, here we go. Okay. Hello, hello, my dear students. Hello. Hello, hello. Sorry that I was finishing the previous class. How are you? Hello, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. And you? I am doing good. Very happy that we are starting another week we have another opportunity to be together in the classes. Thank you, Adela. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you, Ruth, Mr. Ivan. Uh, hello, Mirna. Hello, Jocelyn, for being on time and for being here in the classes. Well, uh, today I wanted to take the time for us to check a little bit on the platform, to check how it works to check all the things that you need to do on the platform. And then we are going to have a little practice in the class, okay? So uh, I want to know how your weekend was before everything. ¿Qué tal su fin de semana? Was it good, bad, so, so? Relax. Relax, <laughs> you say, relax. Sí. That was very awesome, sí. awesome. Yeah. Let's see, Adela, how was your weekend? Movido, atareado. With many things to do, right? With many things to do. Excellent. Uh -huh. Ruth, how was your weekend? The work. <laughs> <laughs> With a lot of work, yeah. I imagine. Mirna, how was your weekend? Muy ocupado. <laughs> very busy, you say. It was very busy. Okay, Jocelyn, how was your weekend? Relax. Relax. Ivan, how was your weekend? Very busy. Very busy. Okay. Uh, Mirna Yanet? Mirna Yanet, hello. Eh, aparezco dos veces porque ya me preguntó. Ah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I was just checking it. Okay, Sarai, how was your weekend? Um, very tired. Very tiring. Good. Yeah. I imagine that was very tired. And, um, well, when do you say relax? She said, that's very good. Hello, Daniel. Welcome to the class. Hello. Okay, so I am going to share the platform with everybody. Let me open it. Okay, I am going to open the platform. Let me see when you can, let me know if you can see it, okay? Can you see it? Yes? Yes. Okay. So when you enter to the platform, this is the first thing that you see, right? This is the first thing that you see, the sections in the platform. So what are you going to do after you enter, okay? Todos ya entraron, ¿verdad? Todos ya entraron a la plataforma, ya la conocieron, ya hicieron más de algunos ejercicios. Entonces, eh, when you enter to the platform, you go to the different sections, right? You open the section, for example, here, section one, and then you are going to have this one. 
In this one, you are going to find the different exercises that you have for that section. El día de hoy les compartí una división sugerida para cómo ir trabajando las secciones en la plataforma. Okay. Ustedes pueden avanzar todo lo que quieran. Y si la tienen terminada ya para hoy, perfecto. Pero si de repente se traen alguna cosa, siempre consultenos. Yo siempre estoy muy pendiente de contestarles sus dudas en el chat. Aquí, cuando le den clic aquí, van a encontrar todos los ejercicios correspondientes a esa sección. Que ahorita se puso nervioso, por eso no carga. Let's see. There you go. Here you are going to find all the exercises. What is the division? Here you have the objective of the class, right? You have the explanation of the objective in English and in Spanish. And for sure, here you have a little video. You always have a video explaining the objective of the class. ¿Se recuerdan que en la primera clase vimos esto de las transportations? Igual aquí está la explicación. And at the end of the video, you always have a question for you to use in the discussion box, ¿ok? Abajo del video siempre tienen una discussion box donde ustedes pueden incluir su ejercicio. Al final del video les hacen una pregunta y dice, incluya en la discussion box your answer, ¿ok? In this, question, in this case, the question is, how do you get to work? And the answer, I go to work by car, by bus, I walk, right? Etc., etc. So that's the idea of this one. And you have to participate in the discussions. Now, in the next one, you have another objective. And for sure, you are going to have the explanation. In this case, you have the explanation for simple present, right? We also did this in class already. Okay. And here, after this one, you have a little exam, right? In this case, because I did the exam already, and uh, what you have in this case is multiple choice, okay? Simple present, multiple choice. My family and I, and you have two options, live or lives. No podemos ocupar lives in this case because you have my family and I, and this is plural, okay? And you select the options, right? My wife and I, and then you select the options choo -choo 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 to all the questions, and then when you finish, you click on submit, okay? En las que son de opción múltiple no hay mucho problema porque solo nos tenemos que fijar, obviamente, de qué sujeto estamos hablando. In this case, we, you know that you need a normal verb, or daughter Emily works because it's she. You say, so she drives because it's third person, or son doesn't because it's he. He rides because it's third person, right? My parents leave, right? Because it's they. My mother takes. My father doesn't because it's he. He also uses, right? Because it's third person. And they don't because with they, you don't use does. So, this is the form that you use when you create the exam, when you complete it. Right? After that one, you have another objective. You have another video explaining the irregular verbs for have, do, and go. For the infinitives, has, does, and goes. Right? And after this, you find another exam that it's multiple choice. Right? And you are going to do exactly the same. My parents... You cannot say my parents has because it is a plural form. You say my parents have, okay? My mom and dad, two people, go. My parents, plural, do. My brother has because it's third person. He goes, third person. He does, okay? I, in the case of I, it's the normal form of the verb, I have. His name is Jason. We, with we, you don't change it. You say we go and we do. And you click on submit and everything is going to mark correct. Okay. You continue on the options, right? You continue on the lessons. You have another objective, another video explaining the schedules. And for sure, you are going to have another quiz. 
right? For this type of quizzes, you have to be very careful for you not to get confused. Let me see if I can uh, resubmit this one. Let me just... Okay, I am going to... I am going to re retake this one. For this one, you have the options here that you have to organize, right? When you have to organize the sentences, you have to be very careful that uh, you don't leave spaces, okay? No dejen espacios. Por ejemplo, no dejen doble espacio al momento de escribir algo. Por ejemplo, van a poner what y dejan dos espacios porque se las va a marcar como incorrecta, okay? Recuerden, si están hablando de, si están hablando de una pregunta con WH, después de WH necesitan un auxiliar. Aquí es what time, okay? Y el auxiliar en este caso es do. ¿Quién es el sujeto de la oración? You. you. What time do you? ¿Cuál es el verbo? Eat. Eat. ¿Y cuál Lunch. es el complemento? Lunch. Lunch. Okay. Lunch. No le ponemos el signo de pregunta porque ya lo tiene la opción. ¿Ok? Si la pregunta solo comienza con un auxiliar do o does, you say, does, El sujeto de esta oración es this class. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Start. Start. Eight o'clock. Eight. Ok. Si tienen problemas para encontrar este tipo de símbolos en su computadora, solo cópienlo y péguenlo para que no les dé error. Porque si usted le pone otro símbolo, le va a dar error y usted va a estar tratando y tratando y tratando y no le va a aceptar la respuesta. Si a de repente a más de alguno de ustedes les pasó en el fin de semana. <ríe> que se decía, no me sirve, teacher, ¿qué pasa? Y era el símbolo. ¿Ok? Tenemos que tener mucho cuidado. So, and it is the way that you continue, right? Tenemos que fijarnos bien y tener mucho cuidado de poner siempre la WH word, the auxiliary, the subject, the verb, and the complement. Okay? Here. Si tenemos una WH question, say WH question, the auxiliary, the subject, the verb, and the complement. You have to be very careful to follow that uh, those steps. So if you continue in the platform, you are going to find the next objective and for sure you are going to find the next video and you are going to find the next exam. Okay, this is the little quiz that you are going to do at the end of the class today. And what you are going to do here says Read the article and then number the activities of each person. Select the number from one to five. ¿Qué va a hacer aquí usted? Ordenar las actividades de la persona del uno al cinco. ¿Cuál es la primera que hace? ¿La segunda? ¿La tercera? ¿La cuarta o la quinta? Okay. Here you have an example. Right. First, she gets up. Then she takes the bus. Number three, she goes to class. Number four, she works. And number five, she studies. What you are going to do with the next one, you have to organize and choose the option of what you consider correct. Vamos a ver la lectura esta en clase. Así que, eh, when you finish the reading in the class, you can come and finish the exercise. Or we can do it right here if you want, so we can move a little faster. Let's read about Brittany Davis. And it says she is a college student. Brittany Davis, what's your schedule like? What is the meaning of a schedule? Do you have an idea? A schedule, what is the meaning? No? Horario. Horario, okay. Schedule. What's your schedule like? Como es tu horario? And it says, my classes start at 8 a.m. So I get up at 7 and take the bus to school. When do your classes end? They end at noon. Then I have a job at the library. So when do you study? 
My only time to study is in the evening from 8 until midnight. Así que sus actividades van. She gets up. She takes the bus. She goes to the class. She works. And the, at the end, she studies. Veamos las actividades de Joshua. Y después las organizamos. Joshua Burns is a website designer. Read with me. What's your schedule like? What do you schedule like? Well, I get up at 6.30 a.m. Well, well, I get up, up at, at 6.30 a.m. And go for a run before breakfast. And, and go for a run, run before breakfast. 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 How do you go to work? How do you, do you go to work? work? I work at home. I work, I work at home. home. I start work at eight. I start work at eight. Around one. Around one. I take a lunch break. I take a lunch break. How late do you work? How late do you work? How late do you work? Sometimes our I work all night to finish a project. Sometimes I work, I work all, all night, night to finish a project. a project. Okay, now let's mark the activities that he does. What is the first activity that he does? Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. He get up. He gets up and he uh, goes for a run before breakfast. So in the options that we have here, we have, he has breakfast, he does work, he eats dinner, he gets up and he goes for a run. What is the number one? He gets he up. Get, get up. Get up. He, he gets, gets up. Gets, then? Gets up. He goes for a run. He goes for a run. Then? He has a, he breakfast. Has a breakfast. He has a breakfast. Then? He starts he work. He start he start work. work and he eats, he eats dinner. dinner. He eats dinner. Those are the activities that he does. And what about Maya Black? She's a rock musician. Let's read about Maya. And in here, it says, let me see. Okay, Maya, what's your schedule like? What do you schedule? I work at night. I work at night. I go to work at 10 p.m. I go to work at 10 p.m. And I play until 3 a.m. Okay, just give me one second. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. What do you do after work? What do you do after work? I have dinner. I have dinner. Then I take a taxi home. Then I take a taxi home. What time do you go to bed? What time do you go to bed? At five, I go to bed at five in the morning. I go to bed at five in the morning, right? What is the first activity that she does? She work, goes to work. She goes to work. Then? She finishes work. work. She finishes work. work. Then? She has a dinner. She has dinner. Then she goes home. She goes home. And the last one? She goes to bed. She goes to bed, right? And then you click on submit, and for sure, all your answers are going to be correct. Okay. So that's the way you use the platform, right? That's the way you use it, and it is not very complicated. Okay. ¿Nos queda claro cómo utilizamos la plataforma y cómo vamos avanzando? Yes. yes. Ok. Nos tomó yes, cuánto? Sir. 15 minutos el completar una sección. 
En media hora pueden terminar dos o tres. Okay, it is not very complicated. It is not really complicated. Important. Here in the sections, you are going to find in section three, y me van a decir, teacher, pero ¿por qué en la sección tres hay dos cosas? In the section three, you have the midterm exams. Tienen los exámenes de mitad de periodo. Okay. Aquí van a encontrar diferentes exámenes, ya sean de listening, conversation, eh, reading, for you to complete. In this one, you have conversations for you to complete the sentence, right? And all these ones are exams. Aquí van a encontrar, quiero ver, tres, seis exámenes que cubren los primeros temas que vieron en las primeras tres secciones. Okay? They are very simple. They are not really complicated. So, here you have conversations just to choose an answer, right? And here you have some sentences that you have to write. You have to be very careful at the moment of writing them. And for sure, you are going to find conversations and maybe you can find listenings as well. Okay, you are going to find a listening at the beginning. Para el listening van a encontrar esto que es el principio eh, de la pantalla. Here, you will have a listening. You click on the listening. And new house, man. What's your new house like, Julia? It's my dream house. It has three bedrooms and two bathrooms. Okay. How many bedrooms do you have? Three. Three, right? So that's the way you are going to do the exam. You listen to the listening as many times as necessary and you answer the questions. It's only three or four questions per exam. So, Aquí van a marcar la mitad de su periodo, la mitad de su módulo. Okay? Si lo pueden hacer antes, háganlo antes. Si la terminan antes, muchísimo mejor. Okay? Recuerden que el requisito es terminar la plataforma arriba de 80. Pero todos mis estudiantes la pasan con 100. Así que ustedes no van a hacer la excepción. All of you are going to pass with perfect score on the platform. Okay? So that's basically it. If you need any help, if you get stuck on something, Never doubt on asking. Si se traban de repente en algo, pregunten. Ustedes no tengan pena alguna de hacer. Okay? So, let's just remember the agreements of our classes. Practice your English as much as, much as possible. Ask for help whenever you need. Let me see. Yes. You are checking on my PowerPoint, right? Uh, keep your cameras on all the time. Attend your sessions on time. Thank you for being here. Participate as much as possible and keep a cooperative attitude during class. Remember the chat on WhatsApp. It's for you to ask any question and for you to ask for help whenever it is needed. Okay. Here you have a. Okay. Here you have the agreements of our class. What did we do on the previous class? Do you remember what was the topic? In at on preposition of time. Excellent. We studied prepositions of time and we studied in at and on. Very good, right? This is what we studied in the previous class, right? In at and on. Early, late, every day at nine, at noon, at night, right? In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, on Sunday, on weekends, and on weekdays. This is what we did on the previous class. So I have here two forms of questions for you to share about your schedules, right? Como comparten información acerca de sus horarios. And I have here examples with, yes, no questions with do and does, and WH questions. The first one that I have, do you get up early? Se levanta temprano. Do you get up early? Yes, teacher or not teacher? Yes, teacher. What time do you get up? I get up at 6.30 a.m. 
6.30 a.m. Let's see who gets up the earliest. Who gets up at 5 in the morning? At 5? At 5. Nadie. No, no. <laughs> no, 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 teacher, no, teacher. At 6? Me. Yes. Okay, me, me, me. me, me. At 7? Oh. At 5. At 5. Daniel gets up at 5, you see? At 5. Who, who gets up at 7? ¿Quién se levanta a las 7? Ajá. A las 8. A las 7 de camino al, al trabajo. Yes. No, a las 7 ya six. estoy en el trabajo. Oh, at no. six. Okay. Uh -huh. who, who gets up at nine or ten in the morning? ¿Quién se levanta a las nueve a las diez? Only weekend. Only on weekend. Not even on weekends. I work on weekends. <laughs> yeah. On weekends at six in the morning, I am there it's in the work. <laughs> Uh -huh. Yes, so anybody gets up after six. Okay, aquí solo aves tempraneras. Oh, solo yes. madrugadores. Yeah, that's good. That's good. What time do you get up on Saturday or Sunday? Nine or five. At nine. Nine, ten. nine oh. or ten. Yes. Oh, how nice. Seven. How nice. At seven. Okay, yeah, at six, you say. It is curious because when you get to have this schedule of waking up every single day early, on vacation, you wake up early, okay? Si se levantan todos los días a las cuatro, por ejemplo, cinco de la mañana, en vacación, cuatro de la mañana. Yes. Yes, it's very sad, very sad. Yeah, y esta gente que uh, no desayuna. <laughs> yeah. yeah, when you are visiting people, it's like, I'm hungry. <laughs> At five in the morning. It's like, who puede desayunar tan temprano? It's like, yeah, if you, are, if you are used to do that, then you are going to get up and to be uh, hungry early in the morning. Tell me, do you have lunch exactly at 12? No. Me no. 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 12 30. 12 30. 12 30. 30. Do you drive to work? Me. Me. Every day. Every day. No. No, you don't drive. No. You have a private driver? Tienen chofer privado? Yes, my brother. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, in some cases, <laughs> yes. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes. A veces al chofer hay que darle una cora así como. Qué barat. Okay. Can you help me to read the other three questions there? With WH. Okay, help me to read the other three questions. With WH, what time? Ayúdenme a leer las otras tres. What time do you get up? What time otra? do you get up? Um, what time the does he have lunch? When do they try to work? work? Every day. Excellent. It is the same information of the previous question, but in this case, it is more specific. You say, like, do you get up early? Yes, no. But what time do you get up? You need a specific time. Does he have lunch at noon? Yeah. Yes or no? Yeah. But if you have a specific time, what time does he have lunch? Do they drive to work? It's a general question. But if you say, when do they drive to work? It's like, cuando, en que momentos, right? So it is very specific. So for the yes, no questions, auxiliar, sujeto, verbo, complemento. 
for the WH, WH, auxiliary, subject, verb, complement. Okay, so that's the form that we make the questions. We are going to work on the following here, and I have a little exercise. This one, you are going to do it with me, and then we are going to do another one, but in groups. The first one, can you help me to complete this one? Do you get up early on weekends, on weekdays? What time? What time do you? What time do you? Right? What time do you go home? How do you complement the next question? Does. Does. Very good. Does your mother work? Right? Does your mother work? How do you complement number four? How, How do, do does. you? It's your father. He does. does. How does, does your father, your father get father. to work? The next one you have here, your do. parents. Do. Do. do your parents read in the evening? Do. When? When do? When do? When do your parents shop? Okay, I need you to help me to create four more questions, similar to the ones that you have on top. Here you have the examples. I need you to create four more using does. ¿Qué ocupamos das. después de das? das. Auxiliar. Auxiliar. Das. El auxiliar das. ya lo tenemos. Das. Use the subject. subject. Ajá. ¿En qué subject ocupamos das? She. 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 Ajá. He or she. And let's use she. Does she what? The she, she eat. Does she, okay, does she study? Does she study what? Does okay. she study all day? Okay, does she study all day? What time? Uh, sigamos la misma, el mismo ejemplo que ya pusimos. What time? Aquí sí ya tenemos el, el WH word. Do. Does she study? Very good. What time yes. does she does study? Time. What time does she study? Do. Do you? Uh -huh. Do you want coffee? <laughs> do you want coffee? <laughs> well, do you want coffee? Thank you very much. I have it already. <laughs> I need coffee. <laughs> do you want coffee? Good. Do you want coffee? Yes, I do. And si me preguntan what, uh, when, hagamos una pregunta con when, siempre el café. When do, do you, 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 you drink, drink coffee? Coffee. coffee. Mm -hmm. When do you drink coffee? Whenever it's necessary. <laughs> when do you drink coffee? Every day. Okay. In every opportunity that you have. When do you drink coffee? <laughs> when you have the opportunity. <laughs> yes. Whenever whenever you have the opportunity, you have to drink coffee. So based on this example, right, we did the first example, you are going to do the example with your group. So here, I am going to send you this one. And you are going to do this one with your group. You have the questions here what you need to complement, and you are going to create three sentences, right? They are very easy. So it's going to be a very, very simple exercise. I am going to send you the picture on the chat, okay? And I am going to send you to the groups, right? With your group, you are going to complete this question, okay? Le voy a mandar unos minutitos a sus grupos para que puedan complementar esas tres preguntas. Las escriben en su cuaderno, ¿ok? One minute or two to create this, starting right now. Let's do it. There you have the groups. Accept the invitation and I need you to discuss and complete.
Okay, so all the students are in the different groups right now. They are completing the exercise. So I am going to go and check how they are doing. Let's see. Do you eat what time? What time? Do you eat lunch? Do you eat lunch? lunch. Sí, verdad, Iván. Sí, así es. Las la tres sí estoy perdida, chicos. Las this class at eight o'clock is start at eight o'clock. This class. What time do you eat lunch? The three is das 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 start no hit no no das hits the class this class das 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 this class this class start at at so, eight o'clock. At eight o'clock, right? Mm -hmm. yes. At, at, at eight o'clock. Mm -hmm. Das. A las ocho. Uh -huh. this, Does this class at eight o'clock? Uh -huh. And the verb. Pero falta start. Uh -huh. Uy, verdad. Start <laughs> at start. eight. And class that this class is start at uh -huh. eight o'clock. Uh -huh. Excellent. Now you have it complete. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's go back. Start. Seria, does this class start at eight o'clock? Okay, okay. Now we are coming back. It was easy, right? Ah, very easy. So, ah, Teacher, very easy exercise. Uh -huh. Let's see. Let's check. Okay, do you exercise every day? Yes, I exercise every day. What is the second question? What time do you eat lunch? What time do you eat lunch at 1 p.m.? Number three. What is the question, number three? Does this class start at eight o'clock? Does this class start at eight o'clock? No, this class starts at nine. And the last one, number four. When do you study English? When do you study English, right? I study English in the evening. So far, so good. No problem with the questions. Question number one. What time do you eat lunch? What, uh, sorry, does this class start at eight o'clock? And when do you study English? Okay, this exercise was easy. And you say like, yes, teacher, very easy exercise. No, that's <laughs> no. It was, it, well, it was easy compared to the next one, right? Comparado con el que vamos a hacer ahorita, Está un poco más fácil. In this one, what we are going to do, we are also going to work with the same group. Okay, vamos a trabajar con el mismo grupo, but you are going to do something different. In this one, you have here, and I am going to mark it, you have here a set of activities, right? Here we have a set of activities. What are the activities that we have? Drive a car. Eat breakfast, exercise, get up early, go to the movies, have dinner late, play tennis, read the newspaper, 
sleep eight, take a walk, and watch television. And we have the seven days of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay? What we are going to do here is that we are going to write two sentences per each of the days. And how are you going to do it? You are going to have an affirmative sentence and a negative sentence. I have one example. I get up early on Mondays. I don't sleep late on Mondays. You can create one for the Tuesday. You can choose one of the activities. And you can say, I, I drive a car on Tuesday. I, and to make a negative, you cannot say, I drive, a, I drive a car on Tuesday, I don't drive a car on Tuesday, porque si no me estaría diciendo, sí, pero no, right? You have to use something different. I don't, I do not ride a bike on Tuesday, okay? I drive a car on Tuesday. I don't ride a bike on Tuesday. So, and in this case, we have the two sentences, affirmative and negative. With your group, I need you to write the sentences, affirmative and negative, for the rest of the days, okay? Van a escribir las de los demás días. Se van a inventar una para Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Tomando afirmativa y negativa. Pueden ocupar los ejemplos que están aquí o pueden inventar ejemplos nuevos, okay? So, I am going to send you the image as well. Okay, se la voy a enviar al igual. For you to have it. Or you can screenshot it right now. No, teacher. <laughs> se pueden sacar un screen. Si quieren ahorita o yo se las envío. Igual, en este momento. Please send. Okay. <clears throat> There you go. It is on the chat. And we are going to go and work with the same group, okay? We are going to go with the same group. Los mando con el mismo grupo. There you go. Let's do it. Okay. Let's work. Let's work, 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 work. Excellent. So all the students are now in the next exercise. Let's see how they are doing. We're going to go. To I have the picture. Tenemos que hacer una pregunta y una respuesta, ¿verdad? No. No. Una pregunta en afirmativo y la... No es una pregunta, es una oración. Una oración en afirmativo. Una oración. Ajá. Ah. En negativo. Yeah, affirmative and negative sentences. Yes. Por cada día, okay. Okay, car. Podemos poner como por ejemplo uh, Wednesday. I go to the movies Wednesday. I don't work Wednesday. Remember the preposition of time. So we need to say I work on Wednesdays, on right? Wednesday. On Wednesdays, the prepositions, remember, they are important. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Remember the pronunciation. Thursday. Thursday. Okay. Thursday. Thursday. Good. I am going to, I am going to check on the other groups to see if they need help. I will come back. Okay. Like. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo les quedó la tercera? 
perdón. It's breakfast on Wednesday. She doesn't eat dinner on Wednesday. On Wednesday. Yes, on Thursday. Watch TV. Uy, ni una hemos hecho. Podría ser también, I go to the gym on, on, ah. on Wednesday. Okay. Tenemos problema de comunicación. Yo, 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 yo. No tengan pena, okay. que ya venimos. I go, to the, I go to the gym on, on Wednesday, ¿podría ser? Sí. Y el otro sería, I don't, I don't, I don't not, ¿verdad? Go to the gym. Ok, recuerden. Si no, I don't play. No, porque no puede. Como. Ajá, no la, se como pueden digo, contradecir. Tenis, ajá, contradecir, exacto. Podríamos ajá. poner que no jugamos tenis. O sea, que vamos a hacer ejercicio, pero no jugamos tenis. Ah. Exacto. Ajá. Exactly. Entonces, puede ser. I. I. I go to the gym on, on Twitter. I go. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. To the. To the. No, to the exercise. No, I exercise. Exercise. I, uh, I exercise on Wednesday, I Wednesday, perdón, y la negativa sería I don't play tennis. Uh -huh. I don't play tennis, or I don't go to the gym, or I don't watch TV. But the idea is that you don't contradict, that you say like, mm -hmm. I eat breakfast on Monday, I don't eat breakfast on Monday. It's like, sí, pero no, right? It's not possible. Entonces quedaría I exercise on Wednesday y la otra sería I don't play tennis on Wednesday. Y es que ahí sigue. Did you finish, my dear group? No. A todos los veo bien concentrados. <laughs> But are you doing different sentences or the same sentences? Algunas sí tenemos ideas de todo. Okay, you are getting ideas of everybody. Good. Sí. Did you finish? Because we are going back to the group. No. Okay, hurry up, hurry up. She's newspaper on Thursday. Mm -hmm. what, what is the verb on that sentence? Uh, reads. Reads. So she reads the newspaper. Read. Good. She reads the newspaper. Did you she does it. She doesn't watch the TV. Um, okay. She watches TV on Thursday. On Thursdays. Hey, did you finish the other days? No, you finished. You haven't. No. Okay, hurry up. Terminamos porque ya nos vamos a ir de regreso. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hurry up, le doy unos dos minutitos más. Okay. I am going to check on the um, last one. I read the newspaper on, on Friday y la negativa podría ser I, I, don't, I don't watch TV on Friday. Uh -huh. I don't watch, watch TV. Watch television. On Friday. On Friday. Y ajá, ahí podría poner, en la otra la sería. En la otra podría ser. I, I visit my family on Sunday. Y la neg negative sería, I don't read. No, yo no descanso los sábados. O sea, I don't. Rest. Rest. 
Saturday sería, Pero sería Saturday. Saturday. Ah, Saturday. Perdón, Saturday. Es Saturday. Ok, entonces sería, uh, I visit all, uh, my family on Saturday. Uh, I don't rest on Saturday. Así, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. I don't rest. Okay, let's do the last one because we are going back. La siete podría ser. I. I cook. I cook, I cook. Okay, all the students are coming back right now. Okay, my dear students, welcome back. Welcome back. You are still working on the sentence. You are very dedicated. I like that one. Okay, ahí están bien dedicados. I love that. That's very good. You are very good and dedicated students. So, in general, each of you is going to give me a sentence in affirmative and a negative sentence, okay? Every person is going to give me one affirmative and one negative any day that you want, okay? Escojan cualquier día y me van a decir una afirmativa y una negativa. Let's start with Adela Martinez. Go ahead. Okay. Um... Cualquier día, no importa el orden. Any day, it doesn't matter. Okay. I play basket on Friday. Uh -huh. I don't not exercise on Friday. I don't exercise, exercise. Exercise. The next one, very good. Thank you very much. Let's go with Wendy Ramirez. Oh. I sleep late on Sunday. I don't sleep early on Sunday. Very good job. Ruth Gomez. The microphone. Thank you. I I go I go to Gomez. Hi. Uh, I go to a movie Saturday. You say I not. I don't. I don't go to the movie Saturday. Okay, I on don't go to the movies on Saturday. Right? Remember the proposition of time is important. Thank you. I go to the movies on Saturday. I don't go to the movies on Saturday. Right? But that's I I did the same. But no. you have to use different <laughs> sentences. Jocelyn Cristina, go ahead. I do exercise on Friday. I don't have class on Friday. Very good job. Paola Ponce, go ahead. She eats breakfast on Wednesday. She doesn't eat lunch on Wednesday. Very good job. She doesn't eat lunch on Wednesday. Wednesday, the pronunciation. Vanessa Carolina, go ahead. I go to the I go to the movies on Thursday. 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 I don't know uh, what's the movie Thursday. I don't watch movies on Thursdays. Good. Ivan Martinez, go ahead. I play tennis on Wednesday. 
I don't play soccer on Wednesday. Very good job. Mirna Yanet. I go to work on Sunday. I don't get up early on Sunday. Okay, I go to work on Sunday. I do not get up early on Sundays. Good. Daniel Guerra, go ahead. He reads on Friday. No, he don't don't not rest on Friday. Okay, rest on Friday. Rest, rest on, on Friday. Fridays. Good. Sarai Morales, yes. go ahead. Yes. I visit my family on Saturday. I don't rest on Saturday. Very good job. And the last one, Crisia. I cook on Sunday. I don't exercise on Sunday. Okay, I cook on Sundays. I don't exercise on Sundays. Very good job. Now, I have a couple of questions for you. Just tell me, yes, teacher or not teacher. Do you live with your parents? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, not teacher. Okay. Not teacher. <laughs> Do both of your parents work? Yes, yes teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, both yes. means ambos papás. Si ambos de sus papás trabajan. Do both of your parents work? Sure. No. No. Okay, no. Yes, teacher. Do you watch television yes. at night? Yes. yes no. Sometimes. Yes. Sometimes, yes. right? Sometimes. Do you eat dinner with your family? No. Yes, I do. Yes, teacher. Do you stay home on Saturdays? No. Yes, yes. No. I do. No. Do you work yes. on Sundays? Yes. No, I don't. No, I don't, right? No, I don't. Good. So, just for us to finish our class, right? I was asking you these questions here, right? We had the reading time on the platform. We did it on the platform, right? I was going to do that with you in the class, but we did it in the platform, the reading about Joshua, Maya, and Brittany. And we answer the different activities on the platform as well. So to finish this, we are going to work together on these ones. Let's see, here, 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 here. I need you to tell me this questions. Well, these answers. What do you do on weekdays? What do you do on weekdays? What do you do on weekdays? ¿Qué hacen en los días de semana? I go to work. I go to work. I exercise. I exercise. What else? I study, I study, I study, I study English. English. Good. I study English. English. I drink coffee. I drink coffee. What do you do on weekends? Only on the, the weekend. Supermarket. I go to the supermarket on weekends. Good. What do you do on Friday night? Sleep. I sleep. <laughs> I sleep. I sleep. <laughs> Early. I sleep uh, early, right? I sleep watch early. <laughs> I watch movies. <laughs> I watch memes. <laughs> I watch TikTok. I, I, watch, I, check, TikTok. I check TikTok, right? Yes. Good. What do you do on Sunday mornings? I sleep. I sleep. I sleep. I, sleep. I, sleep. <laughs> I go to church. <laughs> I go to church. I go to church, right? No, no, you don't go. Okay, but it, it's okay that you sleep a little bit, a little bit more on the weekend. Okay, for the next class, okay, for tomorrow, I need you to do some internet investigation about the parts of the house. Okay. okay. We have homework for tomorrow. Okay, I need you to investigate vocabulary about the parts of the house. I am going to share some vocabulary with you on the chat tomorrow, but I need you to investigate because that's what we are going to do in the class, okay? So, my dear students, that's all for today. I really thank you for your time, and I am going to see you tomorrow in the next class. 
So please, for tomorrow, internet research about the parts of the house, okay? Have a beautiful okay. night, rest a lot, and I'm going to see you tomorrow for see another you tomorrow. class. See bye. you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. Rest a lot. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow.